with the upcoming presidential election in May in Turkey, I think there's a chance for the true voice of the Turkish people to be heard here. And I hope if there's a free and open, transparent election, that uh, they'll be able to get to select the leader uh, that they really want. And if it turns out not to be President Erdogan, I think there's every chance that Turkey will reverse many of the decisions and policies that Erdogan has followed that has made it so difficult to partner to remain uh, in NATO. It's, uh, it's dalliance with uh, the Kremlin, it's objection to Finland and Sweden joining uh, NATO, it's, uh, uh, it's provocative activities around the Middle East. I think these are Erdogan's policies. I don't think they reflect the general opinion uh, among the Turkish population. So if there really is a free and fair election, then we'll find out. Uh, if Erdogan tries to steal the election, if he suppresses the media, if he tries to block people from expressing their opinions in order to keep him in power, then I think we've got a real problem. I hope that's not right. I don't think that's, I don't think Erdogan is where the Turkish people are. And I think if they can express themselves, that is the ultimate sovereignty of any country. That's where legitimacy is found. Let's see what the people have to say.